Okay. Figure out a way to, to get you to see the action here. So I've already loosened up all these bolts that I've taken out. The bolt that uh, holds in the, the oil pickup tube. These all have 13 millimeter heads. Wind them all off here, all these nuts. These two nuts hold the uh, oil pickup on. The rest of them just hold the wind stroke. down in this thing. Not seeing anything unexpected down in there. Wait, 
my hands off pretty good. I don't really want to get oil and stuff on the camera, so no, we'll clean up my gloves. Good. At least a little bit so I don't mess the camera all up. Okay, so this is the, the innards of one of these L77 LS aluminum motors. This is the uh, the reluctor wheel here that fires the crank sensor. Just in case you was wondering, you can see it's sticking out down there, that plastic bit. And down inside here, let's see if we can see anything. There's the cam down there. Now I could see it looks like a little bit of dirt on the cam lobes. So I'm probably just gonna hose some PV blaster in there to uh, rinse them off. But other than that, everything's looking pretty good. I suppose if I was real brave, I could take a, a rod end off and look at the bearing, but I'm plenty confident that this is a pretty good low mileage engine. Yes, you can use PB Blaster to wash stuff. Stuff that you don't want the oil film to uh, come off of too easily. Hooray, PB Blaster. Okay. Back to business here. Oh, wait a second. One other thing. Yeah, this will be a clue as to uh, what to do about these two oil cooler holes. These are the oil passages. This one goes up front, so I'm betting that this comes from the oil pump which is here, well, under here. So that's probably the pressure side. And that would go up out through the oil cooler, come back down here, and go somewhere. Not 100% sure where. <laughs> Does it go to the cam? Lifters, who knows? I don't know. But yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to do. Just in case you're curious, that's where the uh, oil pump pickup goes. We're going to take the uh, Renegade Hybrids oil pickup out and have a look at it. See how well it all fits in there. Now, I don't know about you guys, I'm not a big fan of opera, so that ends the soundtrack there. Plastic off the 
course the, the bulk bag that they put in here broke, so actually more accurately it was not sealed. So the bolts went all over the place. Let's see if we I picked up when I got the box, I picked them all up and uh, put them in a container so I, I have them over on the bench there. Oh, there we go. There's the oil pump pickup. Let's see how this fits in this application. It seems to go in there alright. like it'll interfere with the windage tray at all. Probably squirt some uh, brake clean down through this to, uh, oops, squirt in the camera shot, squirt some brake clean down through this to make sure it's all clean in there. And once we figure out what to do with those holes, we'll get back to bolting. Okay, so here we are inside this Renegade Hybrids oil pan. I had to remove the uh, sump cover here. Which is on like this. that to make sure we got all the bolts and everything there, there were quite a few washes stuck down in here so sprayed it out with some brake clean made sure it was nice and clean blew it out with compressed air and found everything it's actually a pretty nice little you know road race oil pan with the uh, trap doors in it that I hinged it four sides so as the car goes through turns door will close to keep oil in there to keep it from going the way that uh, g-forces want it to go and one bonus thing we have here is see these two holes they are actually for the aforementioned oil passages on the block that went to the oil cooler because the original oil pan has the oil filter mounted in it there's no room for that in this car so what Renegade does is gives you two ports to run to a remote oil filter so our two mystery ports that we're gonna have to figure out what to do with we know exactly what to do with them now just take that oil pan gasket off of that oil pan clean it up stick it on this motor and we're done okay so that's probably about all we're going to do to the bottom end here. Let me clean stuff up and uh, I'll come, we'll come back when we're putting it together. Okay, here we are. We're all ready to put this oil pan, well, that oil pan, onto this engine. First, we've got to install the pickup tube. So the instructions from Renegade Hybrid say to take the original O-ring off, coat it with oil, stick it on here. No problem. The problem is when I stick it down in here, this tube hits the windage tray right about here. So this is kind of the, the thing you run into with uh, fabricated stuff that goes on engines that there are a lot of and a lot of variations on. So. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna dimple that thing right there. Get you set up here so you can watch the excitement. First we're gonna try just big ass screwdriver or big ass hammer. Right there. Now that will 
interfere with the crank or anything, so we're good to go there. We need just a little bit more over here. Okay. Try it one more time, see what happens. Is that enough? Who knows? Okay, found, found some silicone. Permatex adhesive sealant black. I guess this isn't the ultra stuff. I normally use the ultra, but hey. This will do the trick, I'm sure. Light feed to this stuff. Each of these seams. Come on. Man. There. Four seams. Done deal. factory gasket. Looks like it fits like this. We've got the bolt holes showing through here. down a little bit. Now, one more time, we're ready for this here oil pan. Start fitting up some bolts here. We'll have to jostle it around a little bit. Thirteen of these bolts. It's going to take a little bit. Well, thirteen of the bigger ones and then two small ones. Was able to recover all of the uh, hardware except for one lock washer or one of the smaller bolts. So and being that it was shipped like that and you know it went across the country. I couldn't find it in this oil pan. I'm pretty confident that it's not in the oil pan. If it fell out, it might be in the bigger box somewhere. Who knows? Unfortunately, I don't have a box washer that size, so that one unfortunately is going to not have a lock washer on it. Okay, they were the easy ones. Be 
have a bit of overhang. tricky because all the holes don't exactly line up and that the gasket has actually has a rubber o-ring around each bolt hole so when you first thread it it's actually being the, the o-ring is actually hanging on to it so you can't really tell easily if it's threaded or not there you go I believe they are in there. Okay, we're setting the easy ones on.
we're just going to spray it all Chevy orange. I was going to do just the block and not the heads, leave them bare aluminum and paint the valve covers Chevy orange, but that's a whole lot more time and work than I really have. If you have everything buttoned up, it's pretty easy to just tape off a few things and hose the whole thing, you know, degrease the whole thing and hose it down with some nice glossy Chevy orange. It'll be pretty. Not only that, this is a black car, so having something bright in the engine bay will, will help the lighting situation when you're trying to work on it. Check these again before we go a whole lot further. A to be sure we put some torque on all, and B to make sure we put the right torque on. I think we want to go real, real King Kong tight or anything. Okay, it's that big. Let's nail this thing down a little bit so it doesn't spin around on us. These LS engines don't seem to have a, they don't have an even bolt pattern on the back so it's, it's difficult to get the engine stand uh, backing on there without having it slightly cockeyed like it is. Spin this thing over, see what happens. Oh, I'm liking it. Nothing's hitting anything. Always a good sign. Let's see, this is number one. Number one coming up. Check it with our fancy timing mark that we stuck on here. There we go. There. Renegade Hybrids oil pan installed on aluminum LS engine. There's our handy dandy timing mark. Well, timing pointer and mark. Still got to paint that white so we can see it better. Okay, next up will be, uh, here we just check the bolts one more time and flip it over and we'll, I'll explain LS lifter trays and lifters before we put them in because that's, that's an important part of this that I didn't realize was important until I did a little research, but it is very important. 